Hello! Welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 13, Introduction to MIDI. What the heck is MIDI? Well, MIDI is a language that um, you use to communicate between a wide variety of musical instruments and synthesizers and recording uh, DAWs and stuff like that. Let's open a new... but it will all become self-evident. How's that for... Uh, uh, prevaricating around the bush, as they say. Open a new patcher up. That's Command N or Control N on a PC. And let's just start stealing right away. Um, type an N and type MIDI format. There we go. MIDI format. Hello, MIDI format. Um, and then we will immediately option click on it to get the help file. And we get a big explanation of MIDI right here. But we this is a tutorial video. You shouldn't be having to look in your help file. We're really here to steal. So let's just take everything that we want and steal it. So uh, highlight all this stuff and... Um, Get the MIDI out all the way down there, and even the MIDI event over there. Oh my goodness, you can just about get everything, but uh, I'm uh, ignoring the big letters up at the top. Anyway, uh, command copy, control copy on a PC, close the window, don't save it if it asks you, delete the one that you pulled up there, paste in the one that you just stole, and now we can start talking about something. I'm just going to move these over to the middle so it makes more sense. All right. Now, first of all, there is a MIDI synthesizer on your computer. And when you send things out, the MIDI out object, it's supposed to go um, to that synthesizer. At least in this video it is. So let's double click on MIDI out. If you're on a Mac, you will almost certainly see the Audio Units uh, DLS Synth, okay? Um, I have a whole bunch of drivers on my... Uh, drivers are really channels, these uh, buses. IAC Driver Bus 1, it just means different channels to send MIDI. And then there's Max's virtual MIDI channels. But you should find a synthesizer here. If you're on a PC, it'll probably be something like a GS wavetable synthesizer, something like that. Anyway, if you don't have it, um, refer back to uh, tutorial tw 11 or 12 uh, where I explained to go get uh, loop MIDI. Go get loop MIDI. Look up loop MIDI. There we go. Select your synthesizer. So now um, we can talk about MIDI a, a little bit and understand what it does. The MIDI format object that I put up here essentially arranges things into a message that a MIDI synthesizer can understand. So, some of the things that it receives is note on and note off. This message is saying hit key 60 at 127. 127 in the MIDI world is full volume and 60 zero is zero volume and that's how you turn the note back off so supposedly if I hit this well that wasn't that loud let me turn my volume up there we go and off and then back on there we go a piano what do you know so it sends this number out just these two numbers and this makes it into a message that your MIDI synthesizer can understand, sends it to your MIDI synthesizer, your MIDI synthesizer makes the sound until you tell it to stop making that sound. So one can imagine that that takes a lot less room, that's two numbers to turn it on and two numbers to turn it off, than if you were actually recording my voice digitally, you would be sampling it 48,000 times a second and so for playing that note for, say, two seconds, that would be uh, 48 and 48, 96,000 different numbers to um, remake 
the that that amount of sound. So um, MIDI is really good at um, condensing the amount of data that you need to make music, but it also means that you can change simple things and completely change the music um, in ways that you couldn't do if it was actually recorded music. So for example, over here we see program change and this is set to one which I happen to know is an acoustic grand piano or actually zero might be an acoustic grand piano but one is definitely a piano because this sounds like a piano so let's just um, randomly try a different number let's uh, type an M here and type uh, uh, the lucky number 13 in there isn't this video 13 also just got 13 there we go um, and lock your patcher and then let's just hit 13 and see what we get and so I don't it you would think I'm, I'm turning it off on purpose just so that we don't have what's called a hanging note every time you turn a note on you also have to turn it off but um, this sounds like a, like a vibraphone or a marimba it's probably a marimba so um, in this case if you were playing some sort of song file through here and you're like you know I'm tired of the piano I want to hear the vibraphone you can just switch the program to 13 instead of 1 and you can have a vibraphone instead of a piano handy huh so there we hit the 1 and now we're back to piano there we go so that is sort of the nature of how MIDI communicates and as you might notice every time I hit something down here you see it show up here now decoding these numbers um, I'm not going to ask you to do that but just so that it makes sense you see 144 60 0 144 is the first number for um, note note on and note off um, uh, messages messages um, on channel one here's channel one right here so there here's note on I'm gonna hit there's the note on and you see 60 127 so 144 means channel one uh, note number 60 which I can't remember what it is it might be a um, middle a I, I can't remember we'll check later and then 127 is full volume and then if I hit 60 0 same thing is channel 1 uh, note number 60 stop playing it and so if we if we play the channel 2 um, you'll see that it's then 144 plus 1 for channel 2 instead of channel 1 and the same information over again 60 to turn on at 127 and 60 to turn off at 0 so that is how a few things um, work with MIDI now um, we went over this in a previous video but I'm going to do it again because we're going to use this whole MIDI formatting thingamajig here to make a MIDI keyboard in the next video. So the other thing, I'm going to unlock the patcher here. You may remember that we had used an object called MIDI info. So I'm going to type in N. I'm going to type MIDI info. There it is. And am I going to use it? No, of course not. I'm going to option click on it, go to the help file, and steal both of these as I like to do. I unlock that help file, steal these right out of here. Um, command C for copy. And then I close that. Don't save it if it asks you whether you want to save it or not. I get rid of this one. I paste the other ones. Uh, command V and then moving all of them at the same time so that they don't just get all mixed up here I'm gonna get them I'm gonna disentangle them from the other ones okay so now we're going to have this is the create menu of output devices and this is the oops gotta scroll over here 
create a menu of controllers, which are really input devices, and then we'll have these lovely U menus. Now, you'll notice that these um, are connected to note out and note in. And what we are going to do is use the MIDI out down here. So let's grab, whoops, I grab that and delete it and run the patch cord down to this MIDI out. So this is going to be our output menu. And then this is going to be our, we need a similar thing to note in. And we are going to make that uh, MIDI in. So I'm just going to type MIDI over note. MIDI, um, how did that happen? Note in became MIDI. I'll just type the whole thing. Uh, MIDI in. And that's it. There we go. Okay. So now what we'll be able to do with our keyboard, oops, I keep uh, locking my patcher when I don't mean to, is we'll have this over here to control the input and we'll have this whoops don't want that i want this down here to control the output i always try to make them sort of like semi-logical like input at the top output at the bottom when i'm working on things and then we'll have um all this stuff over here, which I'm going to move over a little bit to deal with the keyboard stuff. And that is how we're going to do it. That way we'll be able to get um, input by way of MIDI to run to our keyboard and we'll be able to take the output and run it um, out to um, wherever we want to send it, whether that is uh, I can, I'm going to lock my patcher here and that'll be whether we want to send it. I'm just double clicking on that down any of these different channels or over to max again or to the um, audio unit synth. And now we can do that also just from here from a menu, which I think is nicer. You notice when I click on this, it doesn't have any of those buses because I haven't told it to go look for them yet, which I have to do by clicking this one. Boop. and then it has everything that's on my computer. Let's look at that again. Up here we haven't clicked controllers yet, so what does it think's on there? Just max uh, 1 and 2, and now I'm going to click controllers, and it'll say that. So one thing that we will be sure to add um, unlocking our patcher is a new object called load. Whoop slow bang load bang um, to fire these up as soon as this thing opens and then they'll always be ready to go and now all of this will be ready to go for the next video where we will hook this up with a piano keyboard and uh, hook all the appropriate things to the right things on the keyboard so until the next video I will see you all later Patch well. Thanks for watching.